Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Journey with Akash. In this video, we are going to solve another React Machine Coding interview question. So stay tuned and do watch this video till the end. Create a dynamic form in React and the product will look something like this in the end. And such type of problem statement you will also encounter while working in real world in your organizations. So now let's do some coding. So first of all, we have defined a simple function that is dynamic form. Now what we can do, first of all, let's simply create a JSX. Okay, let's render something on screen. We can give it a class name of container. Let's create a form over here. So as we have seen in the UI, there was one input box and there were like three buttons to add field to submit the form and to remove the field. So let's first create the input box. Now let's create a button to remove the field. Now let's simply create another two button in order to add the field and in order to submit the form. I am not focusing much on UI, you can modify the UI as per your need. So our UI looks something like this, we got the input box, we got the remove button plus add field button plus submit button. So first I am going to add one state. Now let's try to understand the logic a little bit. So what I've done, I've created a field state, field state and it is its initial value is like array of object. So it's an array of object and the key is fields and the value is empty string right now. So what will happen is when we are going to, when we are going to write anything inside this particular input text, we are going to update the value of that field with this particular value. Now let's see why we have used array. We have used array of object because on clicking of the add field button, we are going to dynamically add multiple fields. That's why we have used array over here so that we can keep the track of multiple input box that we are going to add on the DOM. So let's first write the logic to, to add the field. So for that, I will be creating a function that is cons handle add field. And inside this, what we can do? Okay, so what we have done over here, we are we are simply pushing a new value to our state. Like what we are doing, we are saying that keep the current value intact. So we have achieved that using thread operator. Plus we are pushing a new object. Okay. By default, it was having one object, which means that by default, we want to show one input box in the browser. But after that, when the user will click on add field, then it will dynamically add one more input box in the browser. So now, similarly, let's try to add, let's try to add the functionality for handle change. So this function that is handle change, it will take index plus it will take event. So what we can do over here, let's uh, first of all, let uh, try to uh, let's copy the state that we have equals. Let's use the spread operator. So what we have done over here, first we have simply done the shallow copy of our initial state and we have stored it in a new variable. After that, what we have done is, uh, so sorry, over here it will be new fields. After that, what we have done is, we have simply done that new fields at that particular index. Basically, it is the index, like let's suppose uh, in your form, you have three input box, okay? And you are currently writing in the second input box. In the state, you have to modify that particular input box value. So that's why we are using index and 
the value corresponding to that particular index in our array we have to store the event dot target dot value that will be getting from the input box and finally what we can do we can simply do set fields and this new fields that we have just modified now once this is done what we can do we can write one function to remove to add a remove functionality So inside this also what I am going to do, first I am going to make a copy, after that what we can do, we can simply write new fields dot splice and one more thing friends, this will also take index so that we know that which particular index input box we want to remove and with the help of this index comma 1, it means that from that particular index in an array, in our array, just remove that one item, okay. And finally, we can do set fields as the new modified fields value. So, this will trigger the render. Now, we need one final function that is our handle submit. So, you can uh, simply do anything, you can perform any business logic that you want to perform over here. For example, what I am going to do is, I am simply going to do like form value, comma, the fields value that I have. You can perform any logic like let's suppose uh, like making an API call using the data or anything else. Finally using the fields array that we have created, what we can do, we can simply render multiple input box. Right now it will be rendering only one input box so that's why we need to make use of fields. So currently we are having a static data that's why I'm not adding a length check in array but in the real world it will not be a static data most probably it will be a data that is coming from the API okay so on the basis of the like some kind of JSON that you will be getting from the API and on the basis of that you will have to uh, like render some sort of dynamic form or it could be a static form as well totally depends upon the uh, you know product requirement but yeah so over here we are simply going with the static data so I am not adding the length check plus but don't forget to add the length check at your end okay so build for my index and over here we are simply going to copy paste this Let's wrap it in a parent function, sorry, parent div or any parent element and let's give it a class and let's add a key. For now, I'm adding index. Now, what else we can do is we can simply like make it a control component, give the value and the value will be the fill dot value. This is this okay so we are using this particular field because now we are running a loop inside the array and what else we can do we can handle we can pass the on handle change function inside the on change and over here what we need to do we will be getting the event and we are going to pass this value to handle change and we are going to pass it index plus event let's modify the code sorry format the code Now what else is remaining, we can do is on click and on click of this we can simply have handle remove field but it will also take index I guess. So yeah it will be taking index so we need to pass the index to this particular on click. And over here let's quickly add another on click. And let's, uh, okay, so here we do not need to pass any argument. So that's why we are simply going to call it in this particular fashion. Copy and paste, cool. So I guess uh, the logic part is done from our end, okay. Yeah, we need to add this handle submit. It's not, yeah, over here, cool. So now I guess the logic part is done. Now let's, now let's see it in action. Okay, so let's try to add the value, John, let's click on add field, yeah, it's adding, let's say John says is 20, add field, let's add the gender, cool. So as you can see, this add field functionality is working, let's try to click on remove, cool. So it's removing the fields as well, and now let's click on handle submit. So as you can see, on clicking submit, we got the, we got our console.log as well, 
ओके सो वो है एज वी कैन सी इट्स गिविंग सम फील्ड्स एज एम टी स्ट्रिंग सो लेट्स सी वाई इट इज हैपनिंग देर इज फील्ड डॉट वैल्यू वी आर यूजिंग वैल्यू देर शुड बी ओनली ओके कूल तो एक्चुअली इट्स अ मिस्टेक वो है इट्स अ वैल्यू तो वी आर एक्चुअली स्टोरिंग द की एज वैल्यू एंड नॉट एज फील्ड सो कूल सो इट शुड वर्क राइट नाउ लेट्स रिफ्रेश द पेज एंड लेट्स सी वन मोर टाइम जॉन एड फील्ड Twenty. Let's try clicking on submit. Cool. So as we can see, we are getting uh, array of object, and inside the array of object, we are getting basically three objects with the value field as John, twenty, and male. So you can modify it as per your requirement. And yeah, this is it. And friends, one small announcement that if you want to connect with me one to one for any mock interview or any interview tip then you can connect via this particular link and if you have learned something new from this particular video then don't forget to like and subscribe it really means a lot thank you for watching